What is up Loud and Proud crowd? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today I'd like to address the topic of the fifth gen that I'm trying to buy. And before we get into that total topic and why it's been about a week longer than it you know, should have been, and I'll explain that and go through the details as to why. But don't worry, the fifth gen is still coming, it's in the process, and we will update you later in this video as to when we should have the truck, and also more of the actual truck that we're actually trying to get. So you guys can wait to hear that information, and I'll kind of explain what the delay has been, and just kind of help you guys understand. But anyways, right now, what we're gonna do is get down to a lot where they have a fifth gen sitting there that's actually only about a half hour from Actually, not quite a half hour from my house, but they just got one in the other day, and so we're gonna go show you guys around the truck if we can, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a look around one of these trucks on a lot. And this one that we're gonna be looking at is a Laramie with the 6.7 Cummins in it, and it's got the 12-inch interior display, all that stuff, and I'm not thinking it's gonna be like a total like review, walk around in depth, but we might be able to get a little video maybe outside the window of the car, like up close of the truck, so that you guys can see it, and then, um, pretty much just head back and then we're gonna go into the details on my fifth gen and why we don't have it yet, but the actual plans um, in terms of when we should have that truck. There she is, fam. 2019, 2500. She's pretty. It's a good looking truck. We're gonna look around it a little bit more, but I just wanna show you guys what it looked like in person. Topic of the fifth gen and just kind of what's been the hold up with that truck because I made some posts on my Instagram page if you want to go follow that do so we're at almost 52,000 followers on Instagram if you guys could follow that would be awesome and keep in touch on that as well in terms of the fifth gen what's kind of the deal with that truck because I said if you guys get these posts of this many likes I'll go buy a fifth gen this way now that being said I did go look at a fifth gen the day I hit 10,000 likes on those posts and I actually went and I picked up a buyer's agreement for that truck that I like. If you saw the picture on my Instagram page, I showed you the picture of the 2019 3500 Limited. It's a long bed, it's a dually, it's freaking loaded. It's got amp research steps, factory bed liner, all that cool stuff, and it's super cool. 7.3 taken off there. I did go and actually get a buyer's agreement on that truck. I did call my bank and I said, hey, I want this truck to be put down, I want a loan on this truck, under a loud and proud LLC. Can I do that? They said, yes, the only thing is, it's going to take five to eight days just to get the loan through for a decision, and then another two or three days just until the paperwork can make it to the branch locally so you can fill out the paperwork to get your loan. So I'm like, okay, not a big deal. Anyway, so that's been the holdup. It's just that business loan versus personal loan, completely different. They require more time, more detail. They want all of your tax information for the last two years, and they want all kinds of information because it's a business and this and that. And they want to make sure the business is producing enough to be able to cover the cost of the truck and this and that, and all this different stuff. So that's the whole deal with that. It's a very thorough thing that they go through for business loans versus a personal loan where you can just walk in, they give you a yes or a no, and then you're just kind of out. Now, let me tell you why I'm going to get a loan on that truck. Now, some people are in the old school way of thinking where they think if you don't pay cash for something, that means you can't afford it and you shouldn't buy it. You have to understand, with what I do, it is a business and the truck I'm purchasing is for the business. Now when I say that, it is a business expense for me because with this truck, I'm gonna be using it to produce content, to market my brand, to bring in new people to my channel that have never heard of me before, what I do, who I am, what we're about, all that kind of stuff. So it's for publicity, it's for more content, more people, more engagement, all that kind of stuff. It's the new, 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 and it builds up more hype and more stuff going on, and it, it's just good for the business. Now, when it comes to paying cash for a truck like that, it would be completely stupid. Now, for giveaway trucks like this one, I just go to the bank, I grab a stack of cash, I give it to them, I pay for the truck. For a truck that I'm planning to keep as my daily driver, if it's not something that is gonna be a turnaround quick, like this truck, I'm gonna build it and give it away, and it's gonna be somebody else's, I don't, pay cash for them. Not that I can't, I just don't choose to because it doesn't make sense for me. Now this is not a video that I thought I was going to be making. However, we're gonna be making it now. So I was on my Instagram telling people that I just got my first gen stuck. It's gonna be almost a week ago from now by the time you see this video. But anyways, I got my first gen stuck in that field right there and I was out just getting firewood. Well, almost got firewood. Firewood out in the field and I'm like, I'm just gonna take the first gen. I don't think it's that bad. 
completely forgot that we just got dumped on with rain the other day so that whole field was just like mud and I didn't even think about it because there's so much sod I didn't think anything of it so what we're gonna do is take the dually here to go and pull that thing out but hopefully it's not really gonna be much work because the first one is just kind of sitting on top of sod um, the problem is that truck's just two-wheel drive so it's a little bit of a pain in the butt and there's not much surface for the tires so I'm hoping with this truck I can just gently back it over there to the back side of the first gen and just pull it back towards the dry ground up on the higher ground and be good to go now the thing is I don't know if it's gonna fit across the bridge but we're gonna try so uh, stay tuned and hopefully this goes to plan
Well, that wasn't the most enjoyable video to make because I got this perfectly flawless interior a little bit dirty for the first time and uh, got a little bit of mud on the carpet. Got a little mud on the carpet, you know, right? Isn't that how the song goes? No? Different song? Okay. As you guys can tell, this is the coolest dually ever because it doesn't get stuck in mud. There's so much surface area and tread that um, it just kind of like crawls over no i'm messing it, it did get a little bit caked but it's all good reagan did do a little mud slinging not the kind of mud slinging she would have preferred to have been doing like in a square body four-wheel drive you know just I practice to tell him, don't go off the slicks yeah she tried to be the smart one and i was like no 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 it's good it's good we'll be fine it's it's we're just gonna go nice and easy here and there's Plenty of sod on the ground. It's not going to be a problem, and it's literally all just super loose dead grass and mud. Or in the <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what all the video looks like because she did some filming, my mom did some filming, and I was just kind of a little bit ticked off trying to pull the trucks out of the mud. But um, all's good, right? Do you tell them that we didn't get the choice of uh, string we use? We didn't have any chains. Oh no, here. Give us so you guys are gonna that. somebody's gonna be like, what? It is using freaking barely twine. So what we did was. We don't have any straps around here, any chains, because we have, my parents have another property, and so they have all their main tools that we've always had access to over there since they're trying to make that transition. And so we've just got baler twine around here, just like piles of this crap from when we used to have a bunch of cattle. And uh, so we just layered it up like eight, 10 times and just wrapped it around the hitch. There's a lot of video. Yeah, there's a lot of video. Not all of it necessarily was the content I would have been preferring to make. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video of us accidentally getting the first one stuck and having to save it with the dually. If you guys want a chance to win this superhero right here, go down into the description below, check out the information. Every $15 you spend on this truck gets you another entry to win it and ends May 13th, two and a half weeks. This giveaway for this truck is over, so do not miss out. Go down, hit the link, go to the website, make an order of $15 or more with one of your favorite products, get entered to win this truck Truck. And this is going to be our sixth or seventh truck giveaway. Oh goodness, seven? I don't know. It's six or I can't it's even seven. remember. So it might be the seventh truck that we've given away in about eight or nine months. So if you guys want to have a chance to win this truck, do that. Leave a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.